You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Monday, August 12, 2019. It is also the feast day of St. Jane Frances de Chantel, who was the foundress of the Visitation Sisters, along with St. Francis de Sales. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we are going to be discussing the authority of the Catholic Church. Now, the reason why we are talking about this at the beginning of the second season of Catholic Sprouts is because I want you to understand something. The things that we talk about on this podcast are not opinions, and they are certainly not things that I dreamt up or discovered on my own. Everything that we talk about on the Catholic Sprouts podcast is taught with authority by our church, the Catholic Church. Now, what does it mean to teach with authority? Well, it simply means to teach from a place of knowing that you are right and knowing that what you are sharing with others is true. That is how the Catholic Church teaches, with authority. Now, the Catholic Church teaches in a variety of ways. If you go to a Catholic school, the teacher at that school has been given the job of teaching you the Catholic faith. Now, they can teach you various things about the Catholic faith, about the sacraments, about vocations, about the saints, about heaven and hell and sin and all sorts of things. But all of these teachings can be found in one place, and in fact, in one book. That book is called The Catechism of the Catholic Church. The Catechism of the Catholic Church is likely something that you have in your house or in your school, and if you don't own it, the entire content of that book can be found online. This is a book that has been carefully, ever so carefully written by people over the years that are Catholic. They have studied the Bible, prayed, discussed, meditated on it, and finally come to decisions about what the Catholic Church teaches. Now, the reason why this is such a big deal, and we're going to take a whole week to talk about it, is because I really want you to understand what an outrageous outrageously awesome thing it is to say that our church, the Catholic Church, teaches with authority. In fact, the church makes this amazing claim. The Catholic Church teaches, governs, and sanctifies with the authority of Christ himself. So we're not just saying we're the smartest people around or we're pretty sure this is right. No, we're saying we teach what is right and we are so positive that it is right that we teach with Christ's authority. Now, we are going to be unpacking why the Catholic Church can make this claim throughout the week and also what an amazing gift to us that the Catholic Church teaches with such amazing authority. But I'm going to give you this one little clue to this riddle. In fact, it's the entire key to unlock everything. Although in the city you live in, there might be lots of different Christian churches, maybe a Lutheran church, a Methodist church, an Episcopalian, evangelical, all these things, they truly love and worship Jesus, and that's incredible. But only the Catholic church was founded by Jesus Christ himself. We trace ourselves all the way back to Peter an apostle of Jesus, whom Jesus made the first pope. And in an unbroken unbroken line, popes have followed Peter. And the pope, along with the bishops and cardinals, are the teaching authority of the church. This teaching authority has been passed down from Peter since Christ walked this earth. 
So friends, we're going to talk about the authority of the Catholic Church. We'll talk more about this tomorrow. But for today, I have a very simple challenge for you. As a member of the Catholic Church, yes, you need to obey and trust in the authority of the church, but you also need to pray for the church. The church is made of human beings. So join me in this prayer, this very simple prayer. Lord, guide your church. Amen. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God intended you to be. A quick reminder to grown-ups, if you are part of the Catholic Sprouts Patreon community, There is a free printable to go along with this week's episode. It is an incredible coloring page of our first Pope, Peter the Apostle. I also want to remind you that there is a wonderful study guide for you to help take these topics of the church's authority and discuss them in a way that applies to your life as an adult. You can find all these things within the Patreon community. To find out how to join us on Patreon, simply check the notes for this podcast episode. (music) Thank you.